Well, welcome back everybody to Bear's Rod Shop for May the 21st here on a nice Friday. And back uh, on the uh, rotors for the C3 1976 Corvette. Been uh, kind of uh, straggling on getting weekends that are free and this weekend Alan will be in here. And uh, going over and, and uh, double checking these rotors. Uh, I was gonna have a friend of mine turn them but uh, didn't work out so we're gonna do that here if necessary. This is the left rear and the one that we thought we had around five thousandths uh, dip, uh, come down, find out it only is about uh, two thousandths. And uh, so, ended up uh, going over to uh, a machinist that retired uh, here in Texas, not too far from here, about an hour and a half drive. Ended up with a nice Starrett uh, 14 inch uh, height gauge. Sure makes life a lot easier. I've already put the dial indicators on these and I'm just double checking. Uh, this is already calibrated. Uh, it's right on the money. The bed's right on the money. Uh, this addition that I put out here is two thousandths below. Uh, out here it's about uh, three thousandths to four thousandths. So it's not interfering when I had this uh, inverted already checked the other side and uh, well within tolerance and uh, tolerance being for these Corvettes uh, with the disc brakes and the age uh, this is a good rotor uh, I, I shoot for three a lot of the guys say four or five thousands I shoot for three got the feeler gauge out here and this is a four thousands I always want to set the gauge above but I use the four thousands right there we got the drag and we've got a little tiny ridge here. I've already went around, but uh, you guys that have a height gauge uh, probably already know these old Indian tricks. And uh, we're coming in here. And we're dragging a little heavier right here. Got uh, a little tiny ridge but you know the shoes right inside here and uh, we're gonna just emery these down and uh, let's slide this over out of the way also have the machinist straight edge on here and I've got plenty of light coming through the window back there and uh, let's see if we can uh, zoom this in a little better so with that and the aid of the machinist, now I'm setting up on one, two, three blocks because we all know that that hub on the bottom down here, it had a little crown from uh, either over torque. I will face that off in the uh, LeBlanc lathe. Very little trimming, but uh, we have a really good rotor here and happy with this. Didn't have to... Uh, much fuss or mess on this and we have uh, we have the other three this afternoon to get ready for tomorrow and uh, boy I'm having a hard time getting that camera set up first straight but uh, just want to do a little short video back on the uh, Corvette Stingray and uh, we got to move on with it and uh, to my subscribers uh, appreciate it and I hope everybody's doing well. And uh, we've got Memorial Day holiday coming up. We'll miss that, uh, well, we won't miss that Saturday, but uh, we've got to get plans for family on Monday. So uh, please, if you like, uh, thumbs up, share, hit that notification bell if you'd like to see more. This will go in on the uh, 1976 uh, players list, C3 Corvette Stingray. If you'd like to see more on these and uh, get ready to uh, get all the uh, brake calibers that are rebuilt uh, on the other previous videos brake line in the front this weekend and uh, carry on with the Corvette so he can get out of here and he can start enjoying it yes still got a fired up and a few more things there quite a few more things but they will get done and uh, 
again uh, to uh, all my uh, viewers uh, and subscribers but I also want to comment over to BC Block 02 uh, he's putting out some awful good videos uh, if you're into the especially the diesel 12 valves anything that that man does thanks outside the box uh, Brian over at Metal Shaper same way they admire those guys they've got me to start thinking more about you know, don't sit there and look at a project how you're going to fix it. Get it, uh, get that light bulb going and get her done. Yeah. And there's a lot more. Uh, this old Tony and uh, Blondie Hacks, you will could go on and on. And old Adam over at uh, A Bomb 79. Uh, a lot more experience you those guys have than uh, this old fella. But I'm a learning. Did pick up some really nice other machinist uh, tools along with the uh, height gauge. Finally got me a set of the uh, Cant Twist 4 inch and 1 3 inch. Uh, that's all he had left. Uh, clamps, love them. And helped me out of a pinch yesterday, uh, fixing up a, a winch roller that uh, had to be set up in the, I didn't want to raise up the mill. Uh, because then I'd have to tram it. And my drill press worked out great. Uh, I've got an old Delta 1944 that, with that adjustable table. and uh, But the clamps come in really handy. Uh, always think safe, safety glasses. Uh, always clamp your work for attempting to drill anything, guys. Uh, Joe Pye over there at Advanced Innovations. I've got a good video on that, what can happen in a flash of a minute. You know, you're turning 600 RPM, whatever, on a drill press, and that thing not clamped down right, it's going to take some fingers right off. Could do some more damage. Could throw it into your chest or turn over the drill press even. All right. Uh, have a great Memorial Day weekend if we don't see you back. And uh, again, please share and come back and visit. Bear, we're out.